Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name's David and today we're gonna talk about the Grail Diary inserts. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. You know that not only do we talk about all things Star Wars, but occasionally we got some cool Indiana Jones uh, information as well. And today I thought, let's go over the inserts that are inside the Grail Diary because there are a lot of videos out on YouTube that show different Grail Diaries from different creators. And there's pretty much everything from the super cheap $20 uh, Amazon Diary that you can buy to the super expensive $500 tool diaries that are out there. So there's a lot of options. And so if you are gonna put together your own diary if you were trying to build your own or maybe do some of your own research, you're trying to figure out, okay, what inserts do we actually see in the film? And what inserts pop up the most on the insert lists? I thought I would go through the inserts really quickly and show them to you just in case you were doing your own research or building your own. And let me just say, my list is not gonna be the definitive list because there's always gonna be somebody that disagrees with someone's list. Either they'll say that doesn't belong or that does belong because, you know what, there were multiple diaries uh, that were used in the film. There's multiple diaries uh, that are out there uh, being collected. And so this is gonna be as close as we can possibly get, okay? As close as we can possibly get. Let's look at the Grail Diary inserts. All right, so I thought I'd start off with the most famous insert, at least in my opinion, the Blue Larry Ticket. You see this probably the most in the film, folded up like this. It's shown on the three trials page. The location of the second one isn't shown in the film, but you can see it peeking out from the top and bottom. And then we have the gold Larry ticket. The gold Larry ticket is pasted on one of the repeating text pages. Uh, I think it's the one that says the grail is flooded with spiritual life. Some of the inserts, like the brown telegram envelope, we know were perhaps in the diary, but the exact location is unknown. Here's another popular one, the 1899 silver certificate. It's a 1899 US dollar silver certificate. It's used to bookmark Indy's birthday in the diary. And the original prop seems to be trimmed uh, like this one. Then we have the 100 franc note and it has some watercolored colors to kind of fill it in because the rumor is that it was a black and white copy and then colored in. We see this in the very front of the diary on the very first page folded in half. There are four maps in the diary and one of them is the Arabia small map and it's the one that we see with the blue lines on it and it's typically not folded and then there's the long arabia sinai map that's typically folded in a couple different places it's the long fold out map that we see this is the arabia two page map folded in half and you can see that where it says arabia has been cut off and then there's the large Dead Sea map that's also folded in thirds. There are also five of these quote sheets, all right? And each one is just a little different. The first one is the Franklin quote sheet. It has the red flannel hash title, freight and passenger transportation for the armed forces has the marriages and the giant men text. This appears to be used as a bookmark on the stained glass window page. Then there's the Washington August quote sheet. This is somewhere in the diary and we believe that it's upside down because you see these little diamonds peeking out the top. Also, there's the October sheet or the October ticket. This one appears to be on the very front cover underneath the Frank note. There's also a September ticket. It's single-sided, folded in half, 
and pasted on the Knight's Tomb page. And then last, there's this one. So this is another October ticket. It's shaped like an L and it's perhaps over the tacked map. Another one of the cool inserts that you need is the map with no names insert. It's folded in quarters like this and you have writing on both sides. Unfolded, it's gonna look just like this. Sometimes uh, you see this map ending up being printed inside of diaries, but we know it was removed because they say in the film that it's missing. There's a couple envelopes inside the diary. The first is the Eastern Telegram envelope. It's believed to be folded in half and pasted down to the tacked signature page, or uh, it's just deep in the diary. I believe it's in signature four, somewhere like on the 73rd page. This insert is called the gray letter because it's a letter on gray paper. It says May 2nd, 1906 up there at the top. And uh, there isn't really any definite uh, source that says exactly what the letter says, but it should look something like this. And again, it's one of those things that kind of floats around the diary. We're not exactly sure where it goes. Another one of the insert scraps that is loose inside the diary is the leap from the lion's head sheet this scrap isn't in the diary when Indiana Jones receives it. It's actually given to him by Elsa in Venice, which was also given to her by uh, Henry's dad. This sheet is folded and we see Marcus take it out of the diary when he's looking for the map with no names. Another one of the folded envelopes is the insurance company envelope. This is pasted on the very first page or the fly sheet with the $100 franc note glued near it or sometimes on the same page. And typically most people put the uh, Roman numeral scrap inside their diary as well, even though it's never actually seen in the diary, but many people like to include it on the page that shows the sketch of the inside of the library. This is the Camel cigarette pack and it's printed on a really heavy cardstock. It's a bookmark that is believed to be on the Melchizedek page. Then we have the Arabic letter. This is a prop that many believe was in the film A Passage to India, as well as some of the other inserts um, are believed to be from the film as well. You can clearly see it in the film, and it's also been seen in the Lucas archives as well. This is the Pinkerton envelope, and sometimes there's also a, a Pinkerton letter as well. You can see that it's been cut and folded and many people include this prop in their diary. And then typically there's two inserts in the very back or the, the back leaflet cover and that's the Eastern telegram and then the Grail tablet rubbing. Mine's folded up but we all remember what it looks like, right? I can show you a picture of what it looks like. That's folded up and put inside the diary as well. All right, so did I not include one of your favorites or was I able to show you an insert that you've been like, thank you. I've been looking all over to see what the reference was for that. Uh, let me know down below. Let me know uh, your favorite insert that maybe I didn't mention or you know, if you think I made an error in you know, location as to where the insert goes or you know anything anything you've already discovered about the inserts. You wanna share the wealth of information that you have as well. That's what makes the internet great. That's what makes the internet great. We can share information, all right? Hey, good luck building your own grill diary. May the force be with you. I'll see you guys next time, bye.